Aha! Very good morning to you. Hello, my hotties. How are we, Dinky Doo? It's just me, Scotty McClue, saying hi to you. Quick morning pop up, just to say hello. See how you're all coping with uh, with lockdown or whatever it is you're actually coping with. Do tell. Do come on and say hi. And we will see what is what. Amazing stuff. Now then, um, a little bit dark this morning, I'm noticing. Anyway, we'll see what happens about that. Don't worry about that. Not a problem either way. There's a wonderful Gordon Stanley watching. Good morning, Gordon. You're an eagle eye. Nothing gets past you, of course. Marvellous, marvellous. Lloyd Duff watching in Australia. Welcome, Lloyd. Lovely to have you with us. Jacqueline Trotter. Kareem Zakaria has just joined us. Good morning, Kareem. I hope all is well with you. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Scott McClure's Facebook Live. Just a quick pop-up to say hi to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, I have expected. What's up? says Lloyd Duff. Well, nothing at all. We just thought we'd pop up and see how you were, Lloyd, and what was happening in Australia. So fill us in, give us the gen, tip us the wink, let's know the word on the street, all that sort of stuff. Morning, Scotty, says El Salvador. Good morning, El Salvador. David Russell, hi, Scotty, dinky dude, David. Lovely to have you with us. And David McClelland is watching. We like that. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you, of course. I have my trusty Skype here, and uh, my trusty Skype is for people who are highly trusted. So we'll let them know. Four days of sunshine, there'll be blue skies when all the chemtrails are gone. El Salvador, a wee touch of the old conspiratorial there, have we not? Tony Stamps watching Dinky Doo, the wonderful John Jones has joined us. Hi, John. Dinky Doo, give us some thumbs up, guys. Let us know that you're all out there and that you're telling us what is what. Just going to move this light over a little bit. I think that's better. A little bit dark this morning. I don't know if it's my wearing apparel or what has happened. I don't think there's anything on from above there. I was just checking, of course. And uh, good morning, Dinky Doo. Says Michael Wallace. Good morning, Michael. Lovely to have you with us. Spread the word, folks. I'm going to share right away. Because yesterday we all got carried away. We forgot to share in the stream. And uh, people will be thinking, oh, I didn't know Scotty was on. So that sort of thing. So uh, I usually find when people know that we're on, there's a bit of fun and laughter and they will come and join us. Stephen Mooney's watching. Good morning. Dinky do. Good morning, Michael Wallace. Lovely to have you with us. There we are. Just do a bit of sharing now. Let people know that we are live. Oh, live. Wonderful stuff. How's everybody coping? Any stories that you wish to share with us? Uh, good morning, Scotty. You're a big motivation and an inspirational. An inspiration. You're amazing. I thank you, Craig. What a top man you are yourself. And you need to know that. And I'm not just saying that. I'm telling you straight. Right. So what I'm going to do, a uh, bit of sharing here, guys. Let everybody know what's what. We'll share to the um, the big Scotty McClue page. I don't know why I'm not broadcasting on the big Scotty McClue page, because you can do. But we're all kind of on here. Share, share, share. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. El Salvador, top man. Jonathan Scott Donegan. Shout out, Scotty. Absolutely, Jonathan Scott Donegan. Love these pop-ups. It brightens up my day here in the west of Ireland. Michael Wallace, dinky you. Where are you? In the west of Ireland now. I think you should be sharing it with us right away. Uh, Christine Garvin, dinky you. Pauline Terry, lovely to have you with us. The wonderful Lynn Donnelly, who has coped with all sorts of amazing things over the last few days. Well done, my dear. And good to know you're there. Now, who have I got here? Wait till we see. Yes, bit of, ah, here it comes, here it comes. Bit of sharing. Um, share to your story. It's just to let everybody know we're on. Uh, William Davidson's watching. Good to have you with us, William. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, the world's most humble man, a very popular pop-up. Uh, I took the pooch for a walk yesterday, never seen so many families exercising. Out of something bad comes something good. Oh, always. Do you not remember there was a, a commercial company 
and um, they dealt in sugar, and they had uh, the bones of a lion, and the bees were buzzing in and out the um, ribs of the lion. <clears throat> and it said, out of the strong came forth sweetness. They are wonderful, isn't it? That sort of stuff. And join us now. We've got the bell as well, of course, this morning. Slow stern both, please. Thank you very much. Gordon Sterling, you recognise the bell. If everyone on here bought one of my bus seats, I can nip down and buy 60 toilet rolls. Now, why would you want 60 toilet rolls, Gordon, when you've only got one toilet? You see? It's a thought, isn't it? But there we are. Have a head. Have a head starboard. Have a head port. Stop starboard. Slow stern port. Ah, she's swinging in now. Lovely, lovely. Stop both. Uh, morning, Scotty Dinky Do, says Alistair King. A big round of applause for all the bus drivers not working from home and having to go out and keep us all, those key workers, moving. Dinky Do, thank you, Tony Stamp. Dinky Do, big style. I'm just going to put live now. It says share on your timeline. I'm going to share to the big Scotty McClure page. Just let them all know. Oh, yes. Share on a page you manage. I hope you're all sharing as well. Fantastic stuff. Gregor Beard, Dinky Doo, welcome, welcome to you. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, so I'm going to share on that page. And the page I manage is a big page called Scotty McClure. Don't look at it now. What a surprise. Title clever. See what I just did there. Very creative. Uh, so what I'm going to do, Scotty McClure. Now, guys, when Scotty McClure pops up, you can stick off your TV and your radio. I'm not being funny. I'm not blowing any trumpets. But nothing will beat this for information, education, and entertainment. So there you go. It's funny. You pay all that money for all these channels, and uh, you can watch me for nothing. Bang on, Tony. This is Gordon Sterling. Dinky do. Danny Joe. Dinky do. Gordon, did you not tell us? How long does the coronavirus live on uh, on a bus? So there we are, something like that. Come on, uh, fess up live now. Viri tend to be quite weak. I know that people are very sadly passing away from this, but uh, they don't live terribly long outside the body. In fact, I think I heard 12 minutes I think Boris and Trump look really tired. I think it's time the Queen did a speech now, Scotty. She can do it in Christmas. Uh, why do you think she's not been very vocal? Uh, two reasons, I think. Um, she's in isolation, as far as I know, um, at Windsor, because uh, she's 94 years of age, and we don't know how susceptible she is to cold and viri. And um, the other thing is that... Um, why does the Queen get a tough time by people? It's total ignorance. I had a guy left me on Facebook yesterday because I had to roast him over the Queen. He was using ridiculous language. We don't like that. Oh, there we are. That's been shared. And I'm also going to share to a group. Do you do the same? Mark Ferry's watching, Dinky too. The teacher business seems to be going okay. Junior thought he was getting out of his schoolwork. But he did well yesterday. Alistair King, excellent teaching I saw on Facebook. You held it up and let us see some of his schoolwork. Nothing gets past Scotty, not even Corona, says El Salvador. Absolutely. Mark Ferry's watching Dinky Doo. Gemma and Marie McCray, lovely to see you. You got your new glasses, didn't you, Gemma? I saw that the other day. Uh, Gregor says five to seven days on surfaces. Up to 30 days in stools. Um, now, is that stools you sit on or stools that you do? And urine, according to one of the GPs I've been working with. Yes, but is urine not um, quite sort of, is there not a fair bit of antiseptic in urine? I don't know. There's ammonia in it, isn't there? 
Uh, good morning, Scotty. This is Gemma and Marie McCree. Good morning, Gemma and Marie, Marie McCree. Ian Cairns watching. Kareem says, in Spain, elderly folk have been left to die in some old folks' homes. The staff got up and left. Shocking behavior. Panic behavior, Kareem. It is shocking, of course, but it's panic. Um, he did some baking lessons too, says Alistair King. I think Western societies struggle to value their elderly in the way that, say, ancient tribal societies do. You know, I mean, they had them all living with them. Uh, yes, I did, Scotty, says Jem Anne Marie McClay. She got new glasses, bless you. Uh, great to have someone on here not using ridiculous language. Well played, Scotty McClue. Dinky doo, says Michael Wallace. Hashtag Pfeiffer. Um, Corona human virus has been here so long, they're saying it's a different strain. Do you think it may have some flu and pneumonia stream? Well, I think most definitely, because pneumonia is one of the sort of bi-clinical problems, isn't it? I think the Queen should address the nation through a video link, Scotty. Yes, well, absolutely, but tell me, I'm going to come to you at 94, that's you at 94, not me, and say, do you want to do a live pop-up, my dear? Uh, 60 times more bacteria in a bus seat than there is in a toilet seat. But I avoid mentioning this to my customers. Keep this a secret, McClue. Mum's the what, Gordon? Not a, not a word of it shall pass my lips, uh, especially the bit about more bacteria in the bus seat than the toilet seat. So we shan't be saying any more about that. And um, we'll keep it between ourselves and uh, everybody else on Facebook. Um, El Salvador and the guys on Facebook won't say anything, I'm pretty sure. Scotty, when, when can you do a show for Fourth Valley Radio? Steve Mack, I didn't know enough about Fourth Valley Radio. I have seen it, though, and I have sent it round for you. Uh, Danny Joel, Scotty McClure, Scotland's best broadcaster. Keep up the good work. I thank you. Can we have some sharing, everybody? Can you guys do just even a wee bit of the work? Um, I think if I'm ever back to really absolutely peak up there broadcast-wise, one of the big national stations, I'll get somebody in to do this for me. Fantastic. Thank you for you liking my prayer on Facebook. It was a lovely prayer. And Gemma and Marie McRae, if we look at it as believers that the devil has brought this virus, good must always triumph over evil. So would people go back to God? Have you ever thought of doing a pop-up for the kids, Scotty? An educational one. There's a lot of them not understanding the seriousness of the situation and also think they're on holiday and don't need uh, their schoolwork. No, 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 no. They're not on holiday. They will be on holiday Next week, I think, is it the 4th of April, 5th of April? I need to just check up again. But uh, the Easter holidays, but it'll all be locked down again, guys. Some people are even saying it could be a year. So there we are. Um, I don't think Mr. Trump should be saying they're going to open up for business on Easter Sunday. That's out of carry on. Uh, I don't think you should say that. Derek Walker, dinky do a very warm welcome. More sharing. Uh, share to your story. It's public. Oh, I'm sharing to public. My goodness me. Can everybody else keep sharing, guys? Come on, if we all share, it gets round there. So true, Scotty. Thank you, Gemma and Marie McCray. Now, um, a word or two about things, a little bit of housekeeping, guys. I did a TikTok yesterday. For those of you that are on TikTok, at Scotty McClue, and it's a wee rap about the coronavirus. Try and catch that. So get yourselves on to TikTok. Go on to at Scotty McClue and see if you can share. It's only 15 seconds. I mean, it's not too much out your life. The wonderful Derek McIntyre, dinky do you top man. Scotland's top broadcaster. Well, I'm the world's top broadcaster and Derek McIntyre is Scotland's top broadcaster but the world knows about Derek McIntyre as well. So uh, 
Two top rockers. I'm really bored, Scotty, says Gemma. I'm so sorry, lovey. I was doing my best. I didn't mean to bore you. No, listen. Never, ever, ever say you're bored. I once said I was bored and my mother, God rest her soul, gave me a yellow duster and I had to get on with the high dusting. Stuart Mullins watching Dinky Do, Stuart. Lovely to have you with us. I've got TikTok Scotty. Good. Well, look up at Scotty McClue and tell us what you think of the 15-second rap. So there we are. Wonderful. Um, I sent it off to the First Minister yesterday. I said, here is my tiny tuppence worth for you, First Minister. So there we are. Get yourselves onto that. Guys, keep sharing and sharing and sharing, please. Everybody has got to know that we are live. I'm just going to share Scotty McClue fan group. There's almost 3,000 of you in that. Um, join all these things, guys, as much as you can. And I also do um, live streaming on YouTube. The Scotty McClue YouTube channel has got 700 videos for your ed education, edification, enjoyment, entertainment, and delight. Get yourselves onto that. Wonderful. There we are. Have I just shared that? I think I have. Um, yes. Yes, shared it to the fan group. So we'll now share it again up here. And as I say, if you can all do the same, that would be fabulous. Share to as many groups as I could find, says the wonderful Michael Wallace. Dinky do, dinky do, sir. I thank you. Share to everybody, guys. Dinky do from Poland, Scotty. We have a lockdown here. We can only go shopping and nothing else, says Glenn Wilkinson. The army are on the streets with the police. This should happen in the UK as people are ignoring this. Yeah, I saw a guy interviewed yesterday and he was ignoring it. He was saying, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sick. So, you know, he was out in the park exercising. How does he know he's not sick? Because I believe you can have the coronavirus and not know. They're not on holiday. Last year, school kids are having to get up early 8 a.m. and sign online to do work. This is no holiday. They're very upset and stressed. So big respect, says El Salvador Stallione. Nick Kershaw's watching Dinky Do, Alistair King, Dinky Do. We're in isolation, trying to protect my wean. This is day two. We're climbing the walls. It's wonderful these extra pop-ups keep us going. I thank you, Alistair King. Uh, so do we want pop-ups in the morning? Do you follow me on YouTube? Do you put me into your Alexa and save me in your routines? Store me in the routines there. Alexa, play Scotty McClure. No, no, I mean I'm bored being in the house. I'm not bored with you, says Gemma Anne Marie McRae. Only teasing, darling. A wee merry jeep. I knew you wouldn't be bored with Scotty McClue. If anybody would be bored with Scotty McClue, it would be me. And I'm not. Uh, saw a lady showing her daughter how to bulk buy in my local frozen food place on Monday, where we are. What I mean, uh, I, that's shocking. People bulk buying. Now, I've also done a TikTok about that. Uh, big hello, says the wonderful Craig Steele. Hello, Craig. Billy Hunter's watching. Guys, another share. Share to everyone. Everything you can share. Like the stream. Like, 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 like. Hi-fi. Hi-fi, Scotland. Uh, UK, says Jean Grubb. Where are you watching, Jean? Do let us know. Alex Martin's watching. Set your notifications. Set your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClue goes live. Okay, we're in landscape. Is that best for everyone? Lots of thumbs up. Uh, did you watch John Jones? Did you watch Piers on the TV interview with uh, Robert Jenrick, the MP earlier, about why the government says it's okay for builders to work on sites? Uh, the not key workers guy couldn't give an answer apart from um, taking that they're putting money, uh, be, be, they're putting money and the economy before lives. Interesting, John Jones, top man. 
Calvin Allen's watching. Thank you, do the wonderful Karim Zachariah. We've got Karim. Hi, Scotty, from a Scottish nurse living on the Isle of Man. Be safe, everyone, and stay home, please. Wonderful Julie Lindsay Duffy. Uh, what's that beautiful song? Da -da -dee, dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, Elon Vannon. Da -da -dee 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 -dee. Ra -da -dee 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 -dee. Have you ever heard it? Elon Vannon um, for the Isle of Man. Scotty for a breakfast show, says El Salvador. I'm not joking, El Salvador. They should be putting Scotty McClue on national radio right now with a massive phone in. They should drop all the snobbishness, drop all the nonsense, drop all the, well, I'm not sure. I can remember a top person uh, in broadcasting, public service broadcasting, say no more, say no more, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, all that stuff. And um, somebody said, why don't you have Scotty McClue broadcasting across your channels? And they said, we don't actually know his politics. Now, see when that came back to me, I was chuffed to bits for two reasons. One, I'm apolitical. I can see everyone's point of view to a greater or lesser extent, even if they can't always see mine. All right? And also, I was chuffed to bits because you shouldn't know a broadcaster's politics. That's what's wrong with public service broadcasting. We're too hung up on the wrong things. Oh no, he wears a hat. We prefer somebody just to have nice hair. All that sort of stuff, just a load of nonsense. A load of nonsense, guys. Uh, come back on air, Scotty. David McCafferty, thank you, dear. Um, you don't need radio. Radio needs you, says El Salvador. Uh, hi from South Queens Ferry, Lorraine Payne. Lovely, lovely. South Queen's Ferry, we love it. Who can remember the names of the ferries? How far back can you go? The ferries from South Queen's Ferry. And am I right in thinking that um, they took Mary, Queen of Scots, and was it Queen Margaret across the Forth from South Queen's Ferry? Fabulous chip shop there as well. How did the tablet turn out, Scotty? Still waiting in a bit. Oh, the tablet. Mrs. McClure with the tablet. Oh, and me and my Uncle Tommy fitted your kitchen. Billy, you did, Billy Carvel. What a fabulous man. And do you know that that kitchen uh, is still to the fore and looks superb? You did. And Uncle Tommy, what a wonderful, wonderful man. I tell people about Uncle Tommy. Is he still with us, Billy? Do let me know, because he's such a fine man. Uh, Gene Grubb, Fifth Fife. Ah, oh, Fifth Fife. This, you know what they say, Gene? And this will help with the lockdown. I can. Uh, when you're supping with the Fifers, you have to use a lang spoon. <laughs> Do you like that one? Old Fife story. No, says Shake Watson. Shake Watson, what is no for? We don't know what you're talking about. Gemma and Marina Cray from Condorit. Yes, great wee village Condorit. And a friend used to stay in Condorit. Very, very good. Uh, Raymond Benson, dinky do. So beautiful, Scotty. Eh? Uh, Susan Forrest from Lancashire. Lovely lady. My mum is in 12 week isolation. I can now only visit briefly to take shopping and meds. She's doing okay. I think after the isolation, the elderly will still be afraid to leave their homes. Do you know, Susan, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. But it was funny, I was watching, I think it was down in Wales, this girl, she was saying, oh, I got your stuff, mother. And the mother was telling her to be, be, not just be off, but using the B word. <sighs> you know, I mean, for goodness sake. Well done, mate, says Mark. Who Mitchell Mitchell. Well done to you, Mark. 
Wibble Mitchell Mitchell and um, shared a few places, says El Salvador. Do you know, I love you, El Salvador. You're so calm and collected. You just sort of roll along the turnip tops of life. Fantastic. Or that's the impression you give. It's great. Shared in a few places. I think everybody knows you, you know. You never know who you know and who you can talk to. It's fantastic. Gemma Anne Marie McRae says, yes, yes, yes. Um, Sheik Watson says, advice for homeless people. Ah, okay, Sheik. We wondered what you're saying no for. Has anybody got advice for homeless people? What would be a good idea is perhaps if we could test the homeless people for coronavirus, and if they didn't have it, somebody takes them in for isolation. Uh, well done, Scotty. Yes, Elon Vannon. Ellen Vannon. Yes, beautiful island, isn't it? Is that the Isle of Man's national anthem? Andrew Carrick he used to listen to you all the time. Well, Andrew, I don't want to spoil you, but you can listen to me again. Uh, Michael, you was watching Dinky Doo, Shaq Watson. And uh, I don't know what he's saying there. Shaq, we might have to get rid of you if you're making silly comments. I'm going to delete that there for now. Um, but remember, if anybody's being a bit silly on here, you know, we're a fun program. But if anybody thinks they'll just say inappropriate things, they could be heading for a lifetime ban. That's not funny. A guy got banned the other day for swearing. I tend to take the swearers out on Facebook. Uh, you know, I don't like it. And if somebody swears, then I, I do say to them, if they seem like a a genuine and nice soul in the quoting, I'll say to them, you know, if you could take the swear word out, I could share that. Uh, Scotty, do you think people should get advancement and wages and the government should do early payments for the vulnerable? I do, El Salvador. I mean, we paid for the banking crisis. You know, in uh, 2008, the banking crisis hit and banks that I used to hear boasts, people say, do you know that that bank could pay for that headquarters in three days? They are so wealthy. Then suddenly, bang, the banks went to the wall. And they turned around and hit the people with austerity, saying every penny goes back to the bankers. In other countries, they jailed the bankers. So there you go. They say the virus won't survive on it. There needs to be 26 degrees to 80 degrees and above which will kill it, says Rob Randall. Uh, so uh, what will it not survive on, Rob? Uh, I'll tell town Scott all the best from Glasgow, Stephen Smith, Dave Bryan. Hi, Scotty, how's the lockdown going? Well, you're seeing it all. We're in lockdown, and I've got a plan. My Alexa did not work with Scotty, says Gemma. Gemma, I think you have to program Alexa. I think you have to actually um, store me in the routines and uh, set it up as a skill. So one of Alexa's skills should be to tune in to Scotty McClure. Alexa, play Scotty McClure. Uh, Scotty, with this lockdown, we're going to see a rise uh, in 2020 babies. Ha ha. Yes, El Salvador. In the days before Scotty McClure was in the radio, that was all there was to do. Hello, Scotty. Where the heck have you been? We need you back ASAP, says Jim Birmingham. Alan Doherty, dinky do. So many people still panic buying. Get on to TikTok, Scotty McClure, and you will see me telling them. Now, I'll see if I've got it. I'll look it up. If anybody wants to Skype, and I can trust them, so we're talking about the Gordon Sterlings, the Stallions, these. Then I've got my Skype here, guys, Scotty Dot McClure, and I could take the odd call for you uh, if that would help. So there were, but I was also going to look up and get the wrap for you, uh, which I think is very important. There shouldn't be any panic buying at all. Gareth Collins, Dinky Do. Dinky Do, good morning, Scotty McClure, good morning. And that was Brian Hall telling us, yeah, the wonderful Brian Hall. Guys, more sharing and sharing and sharing, sharing, share, because if you share, it lets everybody know. 
I could be doing the finest show in the world at the moment, and may well be doing so. But the problem is, if everybody doesn't know it's on, there's no point in dotting along later going, Ah, oh, I missed that! I'd have loved to have seen Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, uh, would like some tablets, or oh, some tablet, yes, that's right. Um, I remember uh, the doctor told me to take tablets, and uh, very sweet, very sweet. Uh, Stephen McKenzie, uh, Shahid, I thought you died years ago, so Somerville. R Ryan, are you playing the box today, says Peter Burney? We might. We need a hot summer, says Rob Randall. You actually, Rob, also need a cold winter. Now, I'm about to share a piece of magic with you guys that you'll get nowhere else on the media. So listen up. There is a very ancient saying, a green yule makes a fat kirkyard. Now, in the days, in the old days when they just put the earth back when they buried somebody, there was a mound of earth. Now grave diggers are very sophisticated, they've got wee tractors and all sorts of things. But there was a mound of earth. So they said, a green yule makes a fat kirkyard. What does that mean? You do the translation, come back to me on it. I've got to talk to the people, you see. Um, I'm an insulin, uh, oh, in a surlaton, with my mum, Scotty. Right, right, got you. Hello, Scotty, this is Kevin Beck. Hello, Kevin, Jeff Rowe. Century Radio. Yes, Century Radio. Good morning, Scotty McLeod, Dinky News, this is Steve McMahon. They stay safe, people on the streets. Steve Wilkie, Dinky Doo, Rob Randall. Lovely to have you with us. Remind Scotty the wizard is fast with a lifetime ban. Absolutely. The wizard used to give people a lifetime ban if they cheeked up. Yes, more sharing. More sharing. Uh, share to a group. I'm going to share to one of the big groups, guys. Let everybody know we're on. And if you can all do the same, can every single one of you start liking and liking and liking? Can every single one of you find the Scotty McClue YouTube channel and subscribe and you'll see the 15 second video for the coronavirus that I did yesterday. See what I just did there. Um, help them out, Scotty. Jim Gallagher's watching. Right, a green you makes a fat kirkyard. If the temperature is too high, if you don't have a frozen winter, and things are too warm, then what happens is more people die. All right? So it could be that the coronavirus may even be a byproduct of too mild a winter as the world heats up. But uh, although we also have global warming, we've always had global warming. That's how we don't have the ice age now. Uh, hello, Scotty. This is Leslie W. Brown. Uh, greetings from Bishop Riggs, says Linda Hamilton. Oh, Bishop Riggs, I'm saving up for a hoose there. Very nice. Uh, yes, it is, Scotty, the Isle of Man's national anthem. Have you ever been to the island, says Julie Lindsay Duffy? No, but I shall tell you a lovely story. If I went to the island, everybody would know me. Because I used to broadcast on Red Rose Radio in Lancashire. And apart from the official Isle of Man radio... That became a very popular station because it was a medium wave. And they got it 9.99 a.m. And they got it as clear as a bell on the Isle of Man. So I used to broadcast the Isle of Man. And I also worked at a company called Border Television, the ITV company serving the Isle of Man. And um, I would read the news and I would meet people on the street. And go, Hello, it's you. And I would say, uh, yes, I think it's me. And they go, oh, I'm from the Isle of Man. And I thought, what's going on here? And what it was, was um, they'd seen me on Border Television. I was their television announcer and their newscaster on the Isle of Man. What about that? Uh, you should be on a morning show, says Gemma. 
This is a morning show, Gemma. We just need to tell everyone about it and we're back in business. Why don't you start your own radio station, Scotty? You have the knowledge and the right attitude and advice. It's something worth considering then. No one can take you off air for love songs. It's their loss. Well, Alistair King, funnily enough, I have a management history, which I'm very, very proud of, of starting radio stations. And I started one for Central Scotland called Central FM. And it's just coming up in a few weeks' time to its 30th year on air successfully. And also, um, I had a radio station um, and uh, the radio station, we had a stewardship problem with it. And I lost my money in it, my life savings, not in the radio, but over the stewardship problem. Very strange. However, um, you know, we are not daunted. Uh, it won't survive the hot weather, says Rob Randall. Yes. Uh, times, lives, these, we need little music. Uh, and a bit more Scotty McClure. There we are. Guys, we need to share. What is going on? Let's share. Share, share, share. Let me just do a quick share. Uh, share in a group. I'll just do a quick group share. I wish I had a faster computer. When all this coronavirus is over, maybe somebody will donate some pennies uh, for Scotty McClure to get a faster computer. My equipment, pardon the expression, is getting a bit old. Stop. Stop. Right. Here we go. Stop. Share in the group. Uh, so it's just a bit slow, this lot. And, um, right. Okay. Group name. I'll just do that. There we are. And that's coming up. And we can put this up as live now, can't we? Wonderful. Right, that'll pop up. It just takes an age, this. And it should happen so quickly because we've got an excellent internet connection. Right, guys, I've just shared. So that should be, and I'll just put, well, they can see it's live. There's a big red thing. I love when people say, is this live? You think if it was live, you'd see it. There's a great big live thing there. Uh, Kevin Stewart, Dinky Do. Uh, Prince Charles just confirming he has corona on the news. Poor old Prince Charles. He is uh, 72 this year in November. Scotty, not live yet. So there we are. Um, hello, Scotty. What's the creek? I see Prince Charles is COVID-19. Yes, poor love. Dinky do, Scotty. Leslie W. Brown. And um, if you go on to Scotty McClure's website, and you look up photos, you'll see me and Prince Charles. So there we are. And there's Ank Beaky. And uh, Phil Syme, Dinky do. Rhys Morrison. Hello, Scotty. What's your views on single mums? Well, as you know, I used to say, but uh, it's probably it's a long time ago. You know, I used to talk about the single mums and say that they should really get the old band of gold on, you know. Hi, Scotty. First time I've found you, says Huey Allen. Huey Allen, welcome. Peter Boy, welcome to Huey Allen. Of course, I am Huey, the world's top broadcast on the first lord of the internet. So there you are, the world's most humble man, Peter Boy Dinky Do from Woodhall Spa in Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire. Uh, the Lincolnshire Poachers. Remember that lovely old song. And uh, Tina Darling Dinky Do, Ian Reed. Yes, Jessel. Now, this is a blast from the past. We always learn something interesting when listening to your pop ups. Thank you, says Susan Forrest. Oh, my goodness, Susan. Uh, Jim Thompson, Dinky Do, Chloe Gowry says, Hi, more sharing, guys. Well done, you should come and liven up our radio stations here, Scotty. Where are you, Julie Lindsay Duffy, um, on the Isle of Man? Are you in Douglas? Douglas, wonderful stuff. Uh, miss you on the radio, Scotty, Dinky Do. George Finlay, what else have you got in the Isle of Man? The House of Keys. And I'll tell you what I used to adore. I was never on them. But I've, I've studied them. 
The Isle of Man steam packet companies, they're big turbine steamers from the 1930s. The Lady of Man, the, the Manxman, the, uh, what else did we have? The Snay Fell, beautiful great big steamers with one, and on a hot day in Douglas Harbour, they're all laid up, they sailed over from Liverpool. I, I like listening to Scottish radio show, says John Curley. Chloe Gowry, hi. Billy Carvel, um, cheers, Scotty. Uncle Tommy has finally retired. He is 96 years young. I will send him your regards. Billy, I am so chuffed to hear that. Lovely, lovely man, great guy. And I could do with him, I'll tell you that. Um, hello, Scotty. How's your mumbling pants? Says Ruth Terry, and I can Zay Kwai Tang, a dinky do, Scotty. Uh, you've been sacked from every station you have been on for talking shit. John Smiley, none of that's actually true. I got bought by other stations for twice the money. You know, but the other station liked to say that they'd sacked me because they didn't want to say we've stupidly let him go. Uh, Bob Ran, hey, dinky dear. Hi, Scotty, it's Kev, says say quite tang. Hi, Scotty, hey, dinky do to Esther. Never been sacked in my life. There we are. Might not have had my contract renewed, but I've never been sacked. Scotty, what were these taxi drivers all shouting about? No help for them. Do you not have to pay tax to get help? The government don't know half of them exist. So there we are. So what we need to do, taxi drivers, is find out how we can help you. We can't give you a lift up the road, unfortunately. Hi, first time, says Joe Ray. Joe Ray, thank you, do. Can everybody like the stream, please? David Drummond's watching, dinky do. David Diston, dinky do. You need to have two D's in your name to get a shout out. King William, says David Drummond. No, that wasn't the name of one of them. Here's the name of them. Uh, Scotty McLean, the Robert the Bruce of the Airways. Robert the Bruce, yes, if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. George Finlay, can you give a shout out to Caitlin, my daughter? Of course we can, George. Dinky do, Caitlin. You can see the ferries from the Isle of Man in New Brighton. New Brighton, now, Zekai Tang. Am I right in thinking New Brighton is down by Bechenhead? Is that right, Bechenhead? Uh, shout out to the single dads. Stay safe, says Brian Hall. Another share, everybody, more sharing. Share, share, share. Share, 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 share. Wonderful. Scotty, get the Skype on the blower. I've got it. The Skype's here. You Skype any time. How do, Scotty, says Jake McGarrell. Dinky do, when you say how do, are you from Lancashire, Jake? A Yorkshire, how do. Carrick McCusker's watching. Scotty Cutting Edge Radio Presenter. Of course, people are going to get upset by your popularity. Yes, I talked to a friend last night and... This guy uh, was once presenting a radio show with me. And uh, my friend talked to me about it. He said, I heard the show this morning. He said, it's so funny. And I said to him, I said, oh, yes. He said, the joke about the such and such. I said, what about the joke about the such and such? No, I didn't hear that. I said, all right, you must have been making a cup of tea. You're gone to the room. No, 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 no. I heard the whole show. I never moved. I said, did you hear the one about such and such? No, I didn't hear that. And it turned out this other presenter was shutting the microphone on my jokes so that I didn't get the funny line. Oh, how tiny can somebody think? Hello, Scotty. It's not ringing, says El Salvador. El Salvador, what are you talking about? Of course it's ringing. Try it now. There we are. Try it and we'll see if we get you on. That'd be brilliant. Hello, Scotty from Allison. Shout out for the nurses, the doctors, and the shop workers, says John Curley. Hi, Scotty. Shout out to my good pal Ewan McBurney. He loves you and your show. No problem, Connor. Paul Connell Dunnachy. What a great name, Dunnachy. There we are. It's like Benachy. Um, James Karch 
Cartry. What a fabulous name, James Cartry. Um, Prince Charles says the virus now. Yes, we have heard. So there we are. So this Skype should be working. I don't see the problem. See how you go. Um, now, more sharing, please, guys. Uh, and tell everybody about the pop-ups. Scotty, what's your views on single mothers? Well, it depends if they've chosen it. I mean, I think it's better for the child, if possible. Hang on. Hello. Hi, Scotty. How are you doing, mate? Thank you, doing well. Stalioni, how are you? Yeah, I'm not doing so bad, apart from a little bit of back pain, mate. That can't uh -huh. shift at the moment. Now, is that, uh, did you tell me you had a stone, no? Oh, I did, but it was only um, a non, um, what they call, do you know where you can wheel them out? Yeah. I forgot what they're called. Um, not, oh, what's it called when it's not? Um, so somebody, anyway, can, it's weird one. somebody can say you're absolutely wee out. Yeah, you can do because I actually had a recent uh, scan again, right? And uh, the stone, the stone wasn't there, so it said it must have come out in your, you know, in your urine. So you've passed, isn't that? You've it's passed your, right. you've passed your stone, lad. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. I think, I'm just me, I think I've just twinged me back, and it's in a weird place, Scott. It's not in the, it's not in the, like the middle back. It's sort of the low side. Low side. Well, is your mattress all right? I turned my mattress last night. To be honest, mate, uh, because of the all all deal of the house and the situation we're, we're living in, you know, with the damp and that, yes, I am at, uh, not sleeping on a proper bed, mate, and sleeping on uh, a camp bed downstairs. So How can we get you away camping. from that damp, El Stallione? That is not good. Damp has got well, spores in it. Exactly. We've got the chest. We've got the chest specialist working on that, Scotty, mate, with the councils and stuff. So yes, hopefully, good. be out soon, soon rather than later, mate. Good man. Excellent. Very pleased yeah. to hear it. What a superb yeah. pop up this morning. Hey, you've hit some numbers today, Scotty, mate. Yes. No. No. Very, very good. I mean, I think if everybody does their bit and spreads the word, you know, then yeah. we can we can make it a regular thing and get chatting. Do you know what I mean? Well, you'd be surprised how many people are actually open. There'll be a lot of people that are not in work and things like that now, so you're going to be hitting massive numbers in the morning, Scotty. Yep, absolutely. Well, and no, I mean, I don't mind. It's about time because I've spoken to one or two radio people and they go, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got music on then. And I say, well, you know, yeah. I can remember when Scotty McClue walked into a radio station, the yeah. rest of the presenters went, which one of us is going to go? And I said, so I, I don't want somebody's nose out of joint here. And they went, we can't mm -hmm. help it, Scotty, because the boss would say, I'm putting you on. Well, that's it. High demand, Scotty. Not only that, mate. Oh. These, uh, these talk shows, you know, like, I'm not going to mention the radio station, but the sports shows, they're doing, uh, they're doing even talk shows. That's nothing to do with football, Scotty. Or no, well, I, think, I think that's right. I think that is the thing. Um, and, yeah. and uh, you know, we used to, I used to, a gardening show that had nothing to do with gardening. <laughs> well, you were, well, not, well somebody would somebody would say things like, "We did it on a Sunday, sponsored by a top mm. gardening group," and um, yeah. you know somebody would phone up for advice and they'd say, "What should I do with my rose? It's got um, you know it's got all that black dot on it and everything." Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, fling it in the bin, love." And they go, are, "Are you sure?" Huh? I said, oh, I just, well, I thought you might suggest a spray. So no, I just yeah. bring it in the bin, love. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it in my garden. You know, and of course, <laughs> people were laughing their head off. I was giving out all this tough advice, and they were, they were going, well, I'm not doing that. I said, well, you asked for my advice, love. Give you my advice. Yeah. Up to you, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, and of course, people were <laughs> falling about laughing, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been gardening. I don't do your rose, your rose petals or your sunflowers. Yeah. I do like uh, potatoes yeah. and things yeah, like that. Yeah, that's it. And and my dad that's used to do dad. stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's quite. My, my mum used to say to my dad, "Can you go and get us a cabbage?" Yeah. And he would go out to the garden and pull a fresh cabbage. He would bring it in. There'd be a bit of earth on the bottom, and my mum would go, yeah. "Oh, who's made all this mess?" <laughs> that, was, that was me that was me last year Scott it's not everyone thing. was laughing was everyone a... was laughing at me, right I was growing potatoes in my garden yeah yeah the kids to get and do something and everyone was like who grows potatoes who grows potatoes but you know what Scott flip a year now 
And if it was in a crisis, it wouldn't be such a bad idea growing some of your own oh, stuff, mate. Oh, growing your own stuff, lah. Now, listen, I'm going to have to dash because they're all going daft here. They wanted to come on, but yeah. you and I will have a catch up soon. I love, oh, our, I love our little chats. And take care Same and stay me. safe. You're a top man. Dinky doo, Scott. Dinky doo, la. All the best. What a wonderful fella. Right. right, there we are. That's uh, El Stallione from Salford. And uh, Abdullah Muhammad Isa. Uh, good morning, Mr. Scotty. Good morning, Abdullah. God bless all. God bless you, sir. Great gardening advice. Chuck it in the bin, love. Absolutely. It's like my friend when he was training to be a top chef. And he brought his dish that he cooked to the chef. And the chef took a little taste of it and he goes, yeah, that's great. Sprinkle a little bit of parsley on it. Throw it in the bin. Um, I'm growing my own stuff, says Kevin Stewart. Yes, well, yes. All right, then. <laughs> I shan't ask any questions. Now, uh, can we all share loves? Somebody wanted a chin on the box. Who was it? Gordon Stilling's watching. And while Gordon Stilling's watching, I'd quite like to annoy him by playing a tune on the accordion. So there you go. Oh, got the Labrador here, guys. Hello, boy. What are you saying to it? Do you want to come and see the nation? Do you want to come and see the nation? Oh, you're a good boy. So there we are. I don't know if you can see the Labrador. Um, what do we see? Can I get you to see the Labrador? Can we see him? Hello, boy. I don't know if he's there. Are you? Hey there, boy. <laughs> there, can you see me patting him? No. You can't see him from the table. Come over here, boy. There you go. Nope, we can't see him. He's, he doesn't like getting his photo taken. The last one loved it. <coughs> don't worry about the cough. I've had it for 20 years. What have we got here? Gardening stuff. Lovely. Yes. No, I did a little gardening show, and then I remember I did a Kelly on Radio Clyde called the Clyde Kelly on a Saturday night. And a friend of mine from National Radio in London, he said, um, he said, uh, well, what are you doing at the moment then? What were you up to, McClue? I said, uh, I'm doing a Kelly. I said, are you familiar with the Kelly? I can't even spell it. <laughs> uh, he's lovely. He looks a bit wooden. No, no, he's real. He's real. Um, he's just... Uh, He's having a lie down now. He's decided to have a lie down. There we are. Probably needs a bit of a rest after appearing uh, internationally on Facebook Live. Ha ha, Kev. Wonderful. Looks a bit wooden, the table. Very good, Kev. We all get that. Now, let me show you the box. In the old days when they used to caners and belters in schools, they used to show you the belt, show you the cane. So... Gordon Sterling, I'm going to show you the box. So there you are. And any more nonsense, we might even give you a tune. Uh, what shall we have this morning? Dog's interested now. Are you going to see everybody? Are you going to see everybody, boy? Would you like to come see everybody? Come on, see us. Just say hello. Put in an appearance. Here he goes. Ah, look, see the people? Oh, oh. There you go. Right, down you go. That's enough. We don't want you taking over the show. Mazes. Right, oh, for goodness sake. Wreck the shop. Wreck the shop. <laughs> what was that like? I don't know. Never act with children and animals, they say. Hello! 
<laughs> right. Come on. There you go, boy. Was that good? He wants back on now. He enjoyed it. We'll sort you all out in a minute. Don't worry, Lars. There you go. Wonderful. Right, you'll see them now. Don't want you putting Titch Marsh out. Lovely dog, Scotty. Still got the manpower there. Hello, dog. Yes, absolutely, that's him. Wonderful stuff. Now, what's the time? Oh, my goodness, it's time I wasn't here. What a fabulous show today. What have we got? The bell's down. They used to answer. Remember that on the boats? Those of you that travelled via the lights of the Isle of Man Steam Packet Company, all that kind of idea. Oh, wonderful. Right. As I say, if you want to, uh, if anybody wants to, when all this coronavirus stuff's over, donate my clue a nice fast computer or something, that'd be great. <laughs> what a shambles, eh? Ring the bell, Scotty. There we go. Stand by, engine room. Standing by. Slow ahead, both, please. There we are, and half a head, starboard. Half a head, port. Stop, starboard. A head, port. Full of head, port. Full of head, starboard. Off we go. Hard to starboard with the wheel, please. Hard to starboard. Straighten her up. Meet her amidships. There we are. Bit of chat. Just taking a, a nice big vessel out of harbour. Are you sure that's a bell and not a tea song in a cup of tea? There. <laughs> what a fall. A bit of nonsense. I've just taken a large vessel out of harbour for you. For goodness sake, what were you expecting? So there we are. And you got a tune on the box. <laughs> I don't know. Talk about multitasking. You guys don't know a half of it. So there we go. Right. Uh, now, is it time I wasn't here? What is the actual time? Excuse me a second. I'm just going to do a wee bit of uh, a wee comfort break. Oh. Give myself a tidy up because this studio is roasting hot. Wonderful stuff. Now, what else have we got here? Peter Connolly's watching Dinky Doo, guys. Excellent stuff. So, we're in lockdown for, uh, I think it's three weeks initially. <coughs> Pardon me, as I say, don't be fooled by the cough. I had it for 20 years. Uh, the bell's for lunchtime, says Gemma and Mary Vickery. So we're in lockdown for three years initially. I'm crying here, Scotty Top. I don't want to... <laughs> Tell me this. What other television program in the morning can give you a full complement of the nation talking, a tune on the uh, button key melodion is the correct title, and then show you how to take a large ship out of harbour? Molly Scotty, out to the shop, four cars parked at my local park together, all walking together. Are these people for real? Says Peter Connolly. Right, guys, I'm going to have to push off. It's been an absolute blast being with you. If you like this, share it throughout the day across all your Facebooks, across all your LinkedIn, across all your Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue. So get on there because we can also do you the Periscope pop-ups. We can do you the pop-ups on YouTube Live. There's all that out there for you. Uh, Peter, we have the same idiots coming into our village from the town, says Kevin Stewart. Only Scotty, says Gemma and Marie. Absolutely, Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Guys, I'm going to sing you the goodbye song. Why? Because I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. 
Goodbye, everybody. A vitor zane au revoir and a cheerio. Take care, my darlings. Stay safe. Love you lots and ta-da-las. <laughs>